You're in for a treat. The Winter Arts Fest is this Thursday in Central City. So let's learn all about Winter <laughs> Arts Fest and help you plan your Thursday there. Let's learn about it with Lauren Kent, the president of Old Central City Association, and also Joanna Sexton Figlia, the yes. owner of Hattie mm -hmm. and Nan's Antiques and Rare Books. Thank you both so yes, much for coming in. Thanks for we can't wait to hear about this event coming up. Yeah, so tell us about the event that's happening this week. Yeah, so on Thursday, February 29th is the Winter Arts Fest from mm -hmm. 4 to 7 p.m. in Central City and actually the activities are spread all over the district. Okay. So we have different pop-up galleries, meet the artist activities, and also demonstrations and making activities that you can do as part of the event. So um, we're featuring Joe Public Press. He's doing a printmaking demonstration. Okay. We also have Sydney Stewart doing some aura paintings, and Jamie Sloan um, will be live painting in his studio and shop um, that's open, you know, all year round. So he will be working on a, his current works uh, live during the event as well. So, what time does all this start on Thursday? Like? It starts at four o'clock. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's really just kind of like set up to just come after work. And um, you know, check in to all the different activities and um, see what we have to offer. So, mm -hmm. it's a great way to also maybe revisit some of the stores. Maybe it's been a while since you've been in some of the shops like yours. So, mm -hmm. it's probably nice to have an event like this and bring people to your community. Yes, it's always nice to see them. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, do you all have a favorite part of Winterfest? Go ahead. Well, I, I do. I love the old art. I, uh -huh. I collect local art for many years now. And uh, this year we're featuring uh, M.A. Booth at Hattie and Nance, and he passed in the 60s. And he was a well-known artist from Guy and Dot. He had a grocery store up there, mm -hmm. and he would paint between customers. <gasps> and we have a number of his paintings we're lucky to have captured. What so they'll be, we'll be showing those. So mm -hmm. that's a really, we're excited about that. Yeah, and his name's M.A. Booth. M.A. Booth. He's been awarded locally and, and otherwise, and he's been shown at the Art Museum a number of times. He's really a wonderful artist, so he's quite worth checking That's out. That's great. So will we see his artwork in you your will, shop? You will see his artwork in at Hattie and Nance. At Hattie and Nance. Okay. <laughs> now, Lauren, yeah. do we see, I see a couple of other pieces mm -hmm, that you have sure. beside you. Do you mind to tell us about those? Yeah, these are actually some um, works by uh, Joe Cox from Joe Public Press. Okay. And um, there are different styles of printmaking, so this uh, so you can learn a little bit more about the different styles. Oh. So this is a letterpress print. Okay. And this one is a, called a monotype. Uh huh. Um, and then this one is actually um, I don't know what it's called in Japanese, but <laughs> this is a Japanese printing technique, and this is actually a fish that he caught in the wherever he <laughs> caught the fish and made a print with it. So he's very creative he's and very resourceful, using yeah. his niche to help with his artwork. Yeah, yeah. And so we also have. Um, you know, playing on the idea of it being the past and uh -huh. the present. We also have this print, um, which is available, and this is from our Central City Museum collection, and it was recreated by a friend of Joe's named Ox Austin um, Jones, and um, it features the Faisenmeyer Brewery. Yeah. So we're really happy to be able to show that off, too. It is really cool. I'm, I'm going to show seeing that clip again. Too, oh, okay. Yeah, the How video it <laughs> is your printmaker you were yeah, just talking yeah. about. Yeah, he, he had this video um, made. He's, d he's done this event a few times where he's, there's me. <laughs> He's had people come so into fun. his studio and, and do the print technique, so. Yeah. And we can do this when we stop in yeah. Thursday? Yeah. Oh, how yeah. fun. <laughs> and then uh, we also want to show everyone again, because on, we were looking at the video when you were talking about this. Right. An ad for a real local business, the right. Faze Myers Brewing Company. Yeah, and, and we think this goes back to, you know, around 1940s, 1950s. This mm -hmm. was an advertisement, and we have the plate you know, the printing plate uh -huh. in our museum collection and a, f and a few others. And so we've been working with local artists to recreate these items mm -hmm. as well so that you can see what they looked like. Yeah. Because obviously the plate's in reverse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this gets wow. you a better view. Uh -huh. So That is great. It is. Now, Joanna, as a local business owner, mm -hmm. having Hattie and Nance, mm -hmm. what does it mean to you to number one, have the support of Central City and doing events like this and bringing well, people through the doors. It's mm -hmm. really, uh, I find it a very special time because I've been an art collector for a long time. So it's always an opportunity for me to showcase my art. Right. Mm -hmm. And But the one of the unique and really fun things about it is that we have all the pop-up artists and all the folks on the mm -hmm. street and we have our contemporary artists and they're 
work is being shown side by side or shop yeah. by shop beside artists from the 60s. Oh. So you can see, and they're all local, so they have that common thread that yeah. runs through everything. It really and, is. The and past, that's the present, mm -hmm. maybe inspiring future artists. Exactly. And I love to see the folks that come through and look at the art and hear their comments about art. People are wonderful for what everyone sees something different. Uh -huh. So I think art is exciting, and I think we're really lucky to have it there. Oh, it speaks yeah. to us. And it's fun mm -hmm. to learn about all the mediums that they use, mm -hmm. and yeah. I think it inspires a lot of people too. Right. You know, it mm -hmm. might give them that little boost, you know, mm -hmm. to, to maybe dive into their creative side and yeah. explore and a, a we're talent. Very, we're very excited to have Don McDowell. I don't, you know, mm -hmm. uh, know if it's been mentioned yet. but He's he won did. several awards. Oh, yes. He's going to be there. He's Thursday. going to be at Hattie and Nan's. Okay. And he has a new painting that he's bringing with him. Can I say of the Key Valley? I think so. You should. Ooh. Ooh. We're getting the and scoop. It's really, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really an exciting painting. It's absolutely gorgeous. And he will also offer some prints, signed prints mm -hmm. of that painting. Oh. And I believe the original will be for sale. Mm -hmm. Well, the Key Valley is gorgeous. I right. can't it is. wait to see what it looks really like great. in his painting. It's great. Okay, so you'll see that on Thursday. Maybe get to do some printing. All this coming up at Central City um, in Huntington. And you see the time there. Just drop in after work bring the kids after school or grandkids and uh, make an afternoon out of it. Lauren and Joanna, thank you so much for yeah. stopping by and sharing thank all you. this with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having we us. We can't wait to see all this artwork yeah. on display. It's going to be such a fun event. Thank you both. Yeah. Thank you. Thank we'll you. look for you there. It sounds good. <laughs>